um, which you'll probably see in a moment here. So this is Left 4 Dead 2 running under OpenGL on Linux. Um, this guy is not supposed to be blue. That one's not supposed to be purple. Um, so we're working on building a bunch of tools so we can actually, uh, you know, capture a frame of GL rendering from this application and then go drill down to figure out what actual OpenGL calls made up the rendering of that arm. Um, so yeah, API Trace is the tool we're working on. Um, but the problem with API Trace right now is that you start API Trace at the start of the application, it logs everything. You get to the frame you want and you have 20 gigabytes of data and then you have to replay through that every time as you're trying to debug your problem. So glad we never have that problem with <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're building the tools so we can actually debug applications better. Um, the feature for API Trace is trim. Um, the idea basically came out of Git Bisect of wouldn't it be nice if I could just take some trace of OpenGL that shows a problem and have this application cut a bunch of it out and ask me, is your rendering still garbage? Um, we're not there yet at all, but uh, the tools are slowly progressing in that direction. Right now you can ask to cut a specific range of calls or a specific class of calls out of your um, API trace, and that can help you with your, you know, reduce some of the noise in your trace, cut down the size, improve the performance as you're trying to debug your problem. Um, and the next step is to, to be able to, once you cut out a draw call, cut out all of the things that were needed just for that draw call and no others, so that you can start dropping out textures that you don't need for the problem you're looking at. Um, we've done this by hand uh, for some bugs, and it's proven invaluable. Bugs where I've spent a week staring at this application, staring at printf logs and things, trying to figure out what's going on, and we just cut out calls one after the other until we got down to one S3TC texture that was rendered wrong. Um, hopefully we can do this without going by hand every time because Left 4 Dead 2 makes a lot more calls than Neverwinter Nights does. So yeah, um, that's uh, the update on OpenGL on Linux. Any questions?